See, you ain't stood a chance. Why you even try? You ain't even want it. So kiss the game goodbye. I'ma show you how I do it. You can go and cry. Matter of fact, when I think about it, you should go and die. What is up, British boy Blizz Ricks? Now, I think it's a good time to actually talk about this. I honestly not sure. I mean, I hope this is a good time to talk about this now since I'm pretty sure the hype for it has died or is cooling down. I'm not really sure. But COD 4, me, I never played COD 4. I started out, like I said it so many times, I'm going to say it again. I started out, my first Call of Duty ever played was Modern Warfare 3. After Modern Warfare 3, then I got Black Ops 2. And then I got Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1. And then, you know, Ghost, Advanced Warfare, and now Black Ops 3. But to me, I think it would be cool to actually play COD 4 for the first time. You know, with the rehashed graphics and everything. And apparently we're going to be getting the same treatment as how it originally was. You know, as far as the maps, the... Somewhat of the maps. The kill streaks are gonna be the same, the perks and the equipment and the guns are all gonna be the same as they originally were. I think that's a dope thing. You know, so we can get that feel, but in a remastered setting. And I think that should happen with um all the old all the older Call of Duties. Well, not all of them, maybe just the Modern Warfare series and maybe the Black Ops series. So yeah, you start out with World at War, then Black Ops 1, then Black Ops 2. You know, just because, you know, they can do the same thing that they did with COD 4. They can put out a game and then sell the remastered with it on their special edition version of the game. I think that's a dope idea. You know, something like that, it gives everybody what they want. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not only does it please the newer fans where they're able to play the newer Call of Duties at will, but also you have a chance to play the older Call of Duties if you would like to. You know, they got the season passes, so apparently DLC is still going to be a thing. You know, so everybody wins. I think that's a good thing. I think that's dope. You know, that's going to be my word. That's dope. That lets you know that I'm really feeling the idea. It's dope. I mean, I really don't see too much about it. Like, they say you can split the community like that. I don't... I disagree. I disagree about the whole splitting the community thing. Us as players... Well, some of us... We won't be always on COD 4. Like me, I know for a fact that I'm going to get that version that has COD 4 on it. Because I want to play COD 4. I've never played it. I want to see where the Modern Warfare series started. But there are people out there who are just completely sick of all the jumping around. And just don't want to play all the new Call of Duties. They wanted the older CODs remastered so they can enjoy those. You know what? I'm all for it. I'm cool with that. But what I'm saying is not all of us are going to be just on those older call of duties you know we're gonna be back and forth you know like the majority i, I, I want to say the majority place i'm not sure if it will be the majority or not but i know a good number of people who might like the older call of duties will be on it but i'm saying the people that have no problem with the new call of duties will be able to go back and forth that's gonna be me i'm gonna be the one of those guys that goes back and forth just because you know some days i want to play this one and they were like, all right, cool. Um, I don't feel like jumping around. I'm going to go to the vintage COD. You know, that's going to be me. That's something that I'm going to do. And I'm okay with that. You know? I mean, I wish I could do that now. But, you know. I mean, Advanced Warfare, I mean, I give it them a better for the doubt. Even though it was a trash game. It was trash for different reasons. I'm going to get into that in the next video. Yeah, the video right after that, I'm just going to talk about Advanced Warfare. And what they did wrong. But, far as the boots on the ground thing look they tried boots on the ground it just was executed horribly you know what i'm saying for it to be its own game to be boots on the ground let people know where it all started i think that's dope you know there are things that i wish would be changed about the remastered cod 4 you know there are some things that i've heard about i'm gonna get into that too but also again not in this video because I want to just stick to my whole idea that I think this is a cool idea and something that should have been happening a long time ago. But I mean, I guess they're just getting the confidence to do now. Actually, I I think the whole remastering COD 4 is another business move. 
You know, think about it like this. You hear lots of people saying that they want a new COD with boots on the ground. But you've already had a developed Call of Duty where you had jumping around. You know what I'm saying? Now, these guys have been developing this game for a while, so I mean, you can't just stop that and then restart it when you're almost done. So they're just going to keep going on as scheduled and they're going to do their thing. But think about it like this. Now, when you're able to remaster a COD, an old COD, it's the whole generations thing. It's the old school versus the new school. Which do the people really want? That's going to determine what the next Call of Duty is going to be, I think. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. They could just be doing this just because they feel like treating the fans. And they feel like they can rake in more money that way because they know people want these older Call of Duties back, but they're going to just do it like this. You know, it could be that kind of a thing. But hopefully this is one of the things I'm thinking. It's just a generations thing. They just want to see what's going to do better, who's, where the people are actually going to be at. And if that's the thing, then that is that's interesting. You know, they're geniuses for that. I mean, that is a really great marketing strategy. Would that be the word, marketing strategy? I'm not sure. But I, know, I just know at the end of the day, that is a great plan. Which Call of Duty do people really want? If they have more players that stay onto the new Call of Duties, then of course they're going to push the new kind of Call of Duties out there for the new school. If the older one comes, comes out and people stay on that one, and it's boots on the ground for everybody, for the majority of the players, then of course they're probably going to say, I think our next Call of Duty should be a little more traditional style with boots on the ground everybody's just running around doing a simple perk setups simple kill streak setups you know things like that i mean only time can tell you know what i'm saying i mean there's not much that us as players can actually do well not players consumers there's not much as consumers that we can do but there are things that we can't do i mean there are people out there who try to let the developers know that we don't want them things we don't want some things in the game things like that but that people do it they do it horribly I mean, doing it disrespectfully is just not going to work. You know, you can't just shout angrily at people and curse at them and think you're going to get some results. That's, that's not how the world works. It's a business. They're going to do something that actually benefits them. You know, money, money talks. I mean, sorry to say that. I mean, I'm really sorry to say that. I really hate that it's like that, but money talks. And if what they're doing works, that's what they're going to stick with. That's why supply drops are in the game. I mean, I want to say that it's all Activision. It could be all Activision. I don't know. I don't know the details, anything. I don't know what goes on behind the scenes. I just know that, you know, supply drops worked for Advanced Warfare. I mean, there were so many people that didn't even play Advanced Warfare. They just went in there and just opened supply drops. You know what I mean? Like, for like, maybe a, like a week or two, I did that. And that's the reason why I stopped playing the game. Because I realized what I was doing. And I'm like... I didn't even do it for videos. That's the sad part. I mean, I just did it to unlock the stuff. But that is why I'm happy that there's not really anything strong inside the supply drops. I don't really feel like I need to go into supply drops and get something that other people are just beating me with. Because those supply drop weapons, you really don't see them like that. I mean, when you do, the standard stuff still beats them by far. You know what I'm saying? But that's the gameplay commentary. What are you guys' thoughts? How do you guys feel this is all going to play out? Leave your comments below and, and don't forget to leave a like on the video. Oh, and subscribe if you didn't and let your friends know that they should subscribe to me. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter, BlizzRix. No, Blizz underscore Ricks. It's all on the screen. And I'm out. Peace.